In this video, I'll show you three different ways you can design and create content. Let's start by going to your library, and let's add a couple of photos and a video that you can use in your content. You don't have to think about what kind of files you upload, as the cloud automatically converts files to something that you can use in your content. Next, go to Playlists and create a new playlist. You can give your playlist a name. We will call this My First Playlist. In this demo, we will be using a standard TV with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. You also have an option to pick one of the preset designs with one or more zones. If you are planning on building content with multiple zones, I recommend you watch our YouTube about zones. In this case, we're keeping it simple, so let's hit Create and let's edit the playlist. The first thing you'll see is the canvas, and this is where you add your photos, videos, and plugins. Here you'll find your slides, and on the right side, you can create a new slide, clone a slide, or use a slide from one of our free templates. Next to your canvas, you'll find options and settings. At the top, you'll find all the content you can add to your canvas. Let's start by adding an image to this slide. Open Assets, and click on the image you want to add. When you add an image, video, text, or a plugin, you can resize, move, and rotate it freely on the canvas. Let's add another slide and find a video that we'd like on this slide. Just like an image, you'll find all your options and settings on the right. At the top, you'll find a couple of useful tools. You can set the slide duration to match the length of the video. You also have the option to choose if the video should be on top of your content or if it should function as a background. In the right corner, you'll find two buttons. Preview, so that you can preview your content before you publish any changes to your screens. And Publish, updates the content on all your screens. Let's add another slide. If you don't have all the images and videos that you need, you may be able to find some of them in Unsplash, Giphy, and Pixabay. All three plugins offer royalty-free content. Adding a video from Pixabay gives you the exact same options as any other video. Let's set this as a background video and then add a logo on top of the video. We've looked at text, shapes, images, video, and royalty-free content, but there is a lot more you can add to your content. Websites, Google Drive, Playlists and Playlist, RSS plugins, touch, clock and time and date, ticker, weather, countdown, today in history, quote of the day, stream, video input, Power BI. In social plugins, you'll find Facebook photo, Facebook post, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram photo, and Instagram hashtag. Setting the duration on your slides is done in slide settings and individually for each of your slides. Slide settings are also where you add a transition to a slide. Transitions are short animations that happen when a slide begins. For example, fade to black will start black and then fade in the content on the slide. The last thing I'd like to show you is animations. Animations can be added to almost all of your content. You can add an entrance animation and you can add an exit animation. If you'd like to master the art of animations, I recommend you check out the link in the description. As we mentioned in the beginning, we will show you three different ways to design and create content. And the next method is for those of you who design your content outside the cloud and simply want to upload pre-designed files. Let's start by creating a new playlist. And let's edit the playlist. This method is called multi-create and it will create all the slides you need for your content. Open up Assets, hover on one of your designs, then choose it and all the other designs you need in your content. When you've chosen your design, click Create Slide Per Asset. You'll see a pop-up where you can set the duration for your slides. You can choose a transition for your slides. And if you open Advanced, you can choose how the design should fit the canvas and what the canvas background color should be. When you're done, click Create Slides. And there we go. Three new slides were automatically added to your playlist. The purpose of the feature is to make it fast and easy to add content you've already designed in Photoshop, PowerPoint, or Illustrator. As long as you have uploaded all your content to your library, it takes only seconds to add them to your playlist. For the third method, 
we're going to create a playlist from a template. We have hundreds of templates ready for you at no additional cost. Let's pick this one and let's edit the playlist. You'll notice that you have the same options and settings as with a playlist you create from scratch. You can edit slide settings, you can edit text, prices, and anything else on your slide. Let's clone this slide. You can easily remove images and add images. Here we add the image as a background, then add a square white shape on top and set the transparency. Let's also add a video to this slide. And a frame behind the video to make it stand out. We walked you through the three most common methods for designing and creating content for digital signage starting from scratch, using designs you've already designed outside the cloud, and lastly using one of our templates. Keep in mind that Play Digital Signage has 24-7 live support. We have no robots, just awesome people ready to take on any task you throw at them. Thanks for watching.